Were you secretly hoping that James Cameron's lame blue aliens would get wiped out by the RDA Corporation and Avatar? Because that would mean cheaper consumer goods for everyone. Well then this PC game is the perfect title for you. You can think of yourself sort of like Matt Damon in The Martian. Except instead of receiving a rescue mission, you receive a message that says, Hey bro, while you're up there, can you harvest some resources and send them back? So first you're strapped in this chair, and you can only move your head, like you're about to get instructions from Jigsaw on how to escape or something. You can literally only move the camera around with your head. But then, this corporate propaganda video pops up to explain what you're really doing. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. And the little gun you just saw in the cartoon there operates not only to build things, but you can also think of it as sort of like a portable version of the turnstile in Tenet. It undoes anything that you pointed at as well, and you get all the resources back in full. It's a good thing that this company has such efficient technologies because it seems like a terribly inefficient decision to launch employees down one at a time on a planet. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Morning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Now, if you land and you discover that you are absolutely terrible at killing any of the indigenous life forms to survive, then don't worry, there is a strategy for you as well. You may notice, as I'm running around like a mouth breather missing this alien and forgetting to reload my nail gun, that I'm running around on some platforms. Now, these platforms are not present on the planet when you arrive, and that is part of the strategy for you if you suck at this game. So if you're terrible like me, what you're going to want is lots and lots of concrete. So luckily, concrete is not hard to produce. You just need some limestone and get your hands on as much concrete as possible. And then you just never walk anywhere without building platforms under you. So you just walk over everything and you don't fight anything unless you need to go down and actually harvest something. So you use your little tenant gun thingy and you just create bridges everywhere you possibly can. You can also create hyper tubes which are super fun. So those launch you across long distances and you can just put a wall at the end and splat yourself into it. It doesn't actually hurt you. Uh, for some reason this particular fix it employee is really resilient to falling or being tossed into things. But not so resilient to alien life forms. Overall, this game is a really fun experience, and I'm really impressed for an early access game. It is multiplayer as well, but I have not tried that out. The intro screen does say that the multiplayer is a little bit buggier than the single player, so I guess that would be interesting to see. But it'd also be fun to try out, like, racing with a friend or something that's not like a built-in mode but there's nothing that would stop you from doing it. There's tons of stuff you can do. There's conveyor belts, different power options, water pipes. It's just a, a ton of world building in an open world, and they're all like hand-drawn maps. They're not like procedurally generated. It's just a really awesome world. So having a lot of fun with this game, and I recommend that folks check it out. If you'd like to support a small gaming channel, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button, and thanks for tuning in.